Hi, my name is Robbie Janae with Shutterstock.com and today we're going to be talking about how you can save your grainy footage that looks like this and turn it in to this. Let's get started. Everybody records grainy footage every once in a while, and whenever you can't re-record, sometimes it's hard to fathom that you can salvage it in post. Well, here's a quick 30 second tip that you can use to try to save that footage for your next project. Alright guys, so how we're going to start this off is we're going to take our noisy video, import it into Premiere, and then drag it onto your timeline. Once it's in your timeline, you can take a look at it, and then right click, replace with After Effects Composition, and After Effects will pop up with the composition that you're looking at. So from here, all you have to do is go to Effects, look up the Remove Grain Effect, drag that onto your clip, and then we can go into the Noise Reduction Settings. So you can increase your noise reduction, and After Effects is going to clean that up on its own. So you can mess with these settings just for a bit. You can increase the passes to increase the uh, uh, magnitude of how many times it's uh, denoised. So I'm going to do it about six times and increase the noise reduction up to about 1.6. So once you go back to Premiere, your video will be cleaned up and connected to After Effects. You can adjust it anytime and it will be connected in real time back to your Premiere project. If your footage is lagging in Premiere, just render it in After Effects and afterwards you'll be able to use it very easily inside of Premiere without any lags. It's not going to be as good as a well exposed image, but still it's going to be a lot better from where you were and if you're in a tight pinch, this is a really easy fix. So try this out next time you have some grainy footage and hopefully it works for you. I know it's worked for me in the past and I know people hate the term fix it in post, but I mean, sometimes it actually does work. I'm Robbie Janet with Shutterstock.com and we'll see you next time.